Good afternoon, good morning, and good night, everyone. <laughs> I'm your host, Christine Arth, and I'm here with Steven Zhu, and we are here for Adobe Live. Hello. It's editorial yeah. week, and we have Steven Zhu here. He is a very awesome editorial designer. Thank you. <laughs> and we are going to take a look at a lot of some, well, a lot of cool work, for one, and then also we're going to look through some projects that he's going to be doing this week. But first, we have a little bit of housekeeping to do, and that is to go through what's happening this week. So, up this week on Adobe Live, in the morning and tomorrow morning, we will have Barbara Abbas back and I'll be hosting her at 9 a.m. At 10.30, which you just saw, was Kendall Henderson, hosted by Kathleen Martin. Right now, Steven Zhu and I are here to create something amazing. And then at 1.30 p.m., Oslinen Abbasurler is going to be back with Kathleen. So I'm just gonna pat myself on the back for saying her name again because that was a rough one. <laughs> Um, so we also have some really great challenges today. Uh, if you're with us right now, we have one, a chat and win, and then two, for today's challenge, if you are able to go to the challenge tab, you can download a font pack that was created by Barbara. And uh, pretty much we're asking you to make a two page spread or zine that is inspired by odds and ends. And what are odds and ends? Those are just any things that you're finding around, like f old photos, um, illustrations, anything that you want pretty much to create your own editorial spread. So it's a great challenge. We have two more challenges this, well, one more challenge this week and then also portfolio reviews on Thursday. So the cool part about portfolio reviews and challenges is that you get Steven here, who is going to actually get to give you some critique. So make sure you get your submissions in. And we also have a chat and win and that's gonna come up in about 15 minutes or so. So as long as you're in chat, you have the chance to win. Oh, that was a lot, Steven. Thank cool. you for sticking with me on that. <laughs> yeah. I think it's now time to do a little bit of your theme song. Okay. Yeah. Steven Zhu. <laughs> do, wow. do, 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 do. Sorry, we had to do it. We had to do it. I did it for Gus Spot, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he does come with a theme song. Steven, cool. tell us a little bit about what else you come with. <laughs> yeah. So, hello. Um, I'm a designer, uh, photographer, and just kind of a maker of. Things, Maker of things, yeah. singer of songs, <laughs> songs designer yes. of editorial. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I guess like just kind of doing things that kind of interest me. I like that's, that. That's always the goal. You know, like yeah. I hate it when people do things that don't interest them. It's yeah. always like, really? What were you thinking? I mean, sometimes you do the things you are not super into in order <laughs> yeah. to do the things you're into. I but, like that. Great yeah. segue. You're like, sometimes yeah. you got to do the hard things <laughs> to do the right things. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, before we jump onto your screen, I would love to share a little bit of your work cool. with some of our guests out there. Sure. Hello, chat. Please say hello to Steven. And hello. if you have any questions, please let us know. Hey, from Memphis. Yeah, wow. <laughs> right? Everybody all over. Ohio, Memphis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So cool. tell us a little bit about your style and um, what you like to work on. Yeah, so I guess uh, my personal website is, a lot of it is just the photography that I do. Nice. Um, Ooh, I'm curious yeah. because we're going to be <laughs> focusing on a project today that yes. is all about phenomenology. Yes. A uh, word I learned earlier today. Thank you, Stephen. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we will be working on a little booklet uh, journal, um, kind of organizing uh, some research I did over the last two months or so um, on the topic of art and phenomenology. Nice. And yeah. for those of people in chat, like myself earlier, like <laughs> pre 30 minutes ago, what yeah. is phenomenology? Yeah, so uh, it's basically, long story short, it's um, the study of the phenomenon, uh, the study of things themselves uh, as itself. Um, it's also connected to sort of our experiences with uh, the world around us, uh, our consciousness. Uh, I love you know, this. All of that. It's uh, a lot, but. <laughs> yeah, but it's <laughs> but, so cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. I love phenomenons. I love anything that's like mythical or like, we can't explain why it happened, but here yeah. it is. Yeah. Yes, so good. Yeah, your work is beautiful. Your photography is incredible. And I can't wait to see what you're gonna do this week. Thank you, yeah. So you've prepared excited. a little bit of a brief, huh? Yes, All right. I did. Yeah. Okay, while you pull up that brief, which that was quick, amazing. Now I can't say hi <laughs> yes. to anybody in chat. <laughs> or, I mean, yeah. Okay, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> hi, Jan Hello. Eric. Hi, Seb. Hi, Michael yeah. Roos. Hi, Shaggy. Hi, Anna. Ooh. Welcome back, everybody. We're so happy to have chat here. As always, they're our biggest supporters. So if you have questions for Steven, just shout him out there. Hello, Voodoo Val. Yeah. She's uh, from space. Did you know that? Yep. Oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. 
Yep. Hi, Kerwin. <laughs> Eric Sue. Yes. Awesome. Eric Sue wishes he was as talented as you. We'll yeah. throw you some talent, yeah. Eric. Yeah. Okay, Help cool. Yeah. So, Stephen, tell us a little bit about what this brief is. Yeah, so uh, this is a little brief I prepared for what we'll be doing in the next, few, uh, next three days, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Um, so, you know, right off the bat, like, we kind of wanted to define what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, so, basically, this is a short, like, sentence or two, you know. What is it? It's a, uh, to create a journal booklet to nice. organize and visualize some of this research um, on the topic of art and phenomenology. Uh, the goal is basically to, you know, present the research in a more accessible, digestible way. I love this. I think that's what, you know, uh, editorial design really is, mm -hmm. is to make something more readable or to present it in a way that's not, you know, boring on a eight and a half. Totally. Well, 11. you want people, if you're going to yeah. educate them, you have to make it worth educating. For sure, yeah. yeah. At least it's something, you know, create something for that will, you know, when people look at it, they want to pick it up and, totally. You know, have a look and see if that grabs their attention. So, yeah, we don't want to make ugly stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unless yeah. it's really ugly, then it kind of becomes cool, and then you're like, yeah. what? <laughs> I mean, if it has a function too, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> there's always that balance. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, and then so we can go to the specs, sort of uh, how this little booklet will be. I love uh, how organized you are. And even <laughs> your brief is nicely laid out. This is beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so I was thinking about what would be a good size for uh -huh. something like this. Uh, I kind of, after a while, sort of settled on this um, seven and a half by 10. So it's a nice little size. Um, it's a slightly smaller than a letter, yeah. a typical letter. Yeah, perfect. Almost um, fit in like, you know, your little, a little like bag or something so you can yeah. take it along with you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, initially, I wanted to something maybe a bit more personal, a bit smaller. Mm -hmm. But um, depending, uh, looking at the content that we'll, we'll work with, which I kind of was gathering, um, it felt like the bigger size was uh, needed. Totally. So, yeah. Cool. And uh, in terms of paper, um, I was looking around. Um, I really wanted this to be kind of a light weight um, publication. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be using this sort of milkweed smooth 24W, which Ooh. is a really, really thin paper. Ooh, uh, but yeah. it's not, it's thick enough so that the ink won't bleed through to the other end. I like that. So it's not, side. it's like newsprint thin. Yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. Awesome. And then we might use a AD text for the cover or something like that. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so very yeah. thin. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I really like that it's different in that yeah. way. So you could yeah. kind of almost roll it up and like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not something that's like really it's high production common. value. Yeah, you it's know? great. Yeah, yeah. It's something that you can just throw around. It's not a big deal. That kind of thing. Um, so yeah, and both of these papers are not pure white. So mm -hmm. they have some kind of um, yellow tint to it uh, nice. or brown. I guess uh, so. That would be interesting. It's something that I haven't worked <clears throat> with a lot before. Yeah. So uh, and then in terms of binding, I was thinking, you know, uh, thinking about this more accessible sort of publication. You know, mm -hmm. just using a simple saddle stitch, or if we want to get a little bit fancy, yeah, have it be pamphlet sewn, so Ooh. it's like actually yeah. sewn in. Uh, so yeah, that would be cool. like you know, we're just gonna have. <laughs> Hand sewn pamphlets. Yeah. I'm gonna do the sewing. Yeah. You're gonna design it. Right. This is gonna be great. I mean, I mean, this will be a small production. So. <laughs> yeah, I hope so because I'm gonna be doing the sewing. Let's make one. <laughs> okay. Yes. I'll sew one of them. It'll be totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make two. One for you. One for me. Yeah. So, All right. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So I was. Um, I don't know. For those of you, maybe uh, I can sh quickly show. Uh, yes. Pamphlet sewn. Pamphlet sewn. And then so someone funny. earlier, uh, Faith was asking, hello, Faith. She was asking, was it height versus width? Are you doing it seven and a half by Oh, so 10? yes, yes. So the seven and a half width. is width. Got and it, 10. width by height, yeah. nice. Yeah. A lot of people out there are probably gonna follow along, so this is cool. gonna be great. Awesome, yeah. yeah. So yeah, this is kind of the pamphlet zone, kind of what it will look like. So it's a little bit more finished. Beautiful. Um, so that's kind of the energy or- I'm a big aesthetic. fan of that look, yeah. 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 It's really nice. It just feels much more um, hand-derived and just natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not something that's like uh, Manufactured, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Cool. So, 
it will fit with our sort of um, content fairly nicely too. So yeah, phenomenology. A lot of it is like I wrote it in per first person. You yeah. know, it's like this is how I read this. And That's it's like, great. So yeah. did you write all the content for this too? Uh, like 90%. What? <laughs> yeah. So you're a writer too. Oh man, yeah. this is so cool. Yeah. I cool. can't wait to read it. <laughs> He's gonna yeah. be sending a journal out to every single one of you who are watching right now as long as what? What's the what's the <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know. As long as you guys do the challenge. <laughs> yeah. Do the You're challenge. like, there you go. Yeah. Okay, so what else is in our brief? So uh, just housekeeping, you know, color, we're gonna be using just CMYK basically. Yeah. Um, keep it simple. Cool. Probably just gonna print this on a typical sort of laser printer. You know? Totally. Um, I not love gonna it. go to like a Yeah, we don't need anything special. Yeah, this is like no. a journal that's on thin <laughs> yeah, paper. Exactly. We just want people <laughs> exactly. to read it and yeah. then recycle it. Yeah. Cool. And uh, you know, a rough number of like pages, page count, you know, that could change depending on how much we want to include, how fast we work. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> You're know? like, it might be five yeah, pages, I, it might yeah. be 48, yeah. which might I be, really love. Maybe 100, I don't know. It's good, <laughs> no, it's good to no. shoot for the large. I like that you're like, yeah, yeah it's gonna be 36 to 48. Yeah. There's a lot of content. Yeah. And then I guess just the you know basic name, kind of wanted to be, because the uh, content will be kind of maybe a little bit more abstract in its nature, yeah. so it's just the name is just yeah, kind of Yeah, it's more journalistic, it's more editorial-esque, yeah. as in, you know, like, educational. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, just telling you exactly what it is. It's yeah. our phenomenology, a research journal. Cool, yeah. well, we've got a lot of new people out there. We have Faith, we have Wasim, Jaden, good to see you, Shaggy, he loves this, hashtag phenomenology, <laughs> Equipwas, yeah. designers, love that. Hey, guys, welcome. So very cool. Let us know what we're up to and uh, what you guys are all doing right now. Um, and then Jaden, what we're doing today is we are here with Steven Zhu and he is going to design an editorial journal focusing on art and phenomenology. God, I love saying that word. It's so yeah, it's like- it's a nice word, isn't it? It's like bumblebee. <laughs> There's something great about saying that yeah, word. And yeah. now this is my new like- Those N's in the top and O's five. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like good, yeah, good word. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, moving on, this is kind of what, roughly what we'll cover, sort of mm -hmm. breaking it down into a couple of sections. Cool. You know, we have like a short like introduction and forward. Uh, we have, uh, and then we'll get, get into sort of the actual, you know, the meat of the editorial. Yes, sort of, the meat. Yeah, so we have a section on sort of early investigations, how I really like got into it. Like This is so cool. What? Okay, I <laughs> yeah. really do want to read this. I'm not just cool. teasing you, like I really want to read it. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, phenomenology phenomenology is a branch of philosophy, so we include some of that. So cool. Uh, into our third section. And then we're gonna look at some art. Hopefully. So cool. Yeah. So um, Jaden's asking, cool, what is phenomenology? Phenomenology <laughs> is the study of phenomenons. Yes. <gasps> that's the one word answer. Yes. <laughs> yes. The one, yeah. It's like yeah. the quickest way to say it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And then, uh, so as you can see, I have like a rough like page count mm -hmm. um, of it's great. about how much they will take up, you know, how much space they'll take up. Um, and then in the end, we want to include our credits, and notes, all of that, because um, we're using, we're gonna be using images that are uh, not mine. Mm -hmm. So we want to give proper credit. Um, and actually, I'll talk about that a little bit in the next few slides too. Um, so we'll, being uh, intentional and like, uh, just, uh, be responsible. I love for that. the images that you use. Totally. Yeah. yeah. It's really important, especially as designers, because we pull things from all over the place and knowing sure. the intention of what they mean and what they are and yeah. how you're going to use them really does set you apart from, you know, just doing it for why it's cool. Because it's yeah. not about being yeah. cool, it's about having purpose. <laughs> for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I was so. like, and then there's your lecture for the day, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll get into some more <laughs> cool visual stuff soon. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We're just here to lecture you guys. Yeah. It's not a lecture. <laughs> oh, Stephen, uh, people are curious. Mm. What font are you using for this document? Oh, oh, this uh, th that's just Futura. Oh. Basic. Just yeah. Futura. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I, I mean, still, it's a great font. Yeah. <laughs> I like it a lot, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. And then a rough schedule because, you know, I like to have structure. I like this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Man, just yeah. like nailing it down. I like this. Yes, Man with purpose. So. 
Yeah, so uh, the first day today, uh, we'll establish sort of a general structure in terms of like what we're doing. Uh, we'll do some covers, uh, mm -hmm. some cover options. Love it. And then we'll see, um, we'll work on some, we'll, we'll work on a table of contents um, or maybe introduction, I don't know, uh, which comes first. Uh, right now I'm actually thinking the introduction might come before the table of contents. Like nice. The forward, sort of like the first page you see, that's what you It's what get. you get. Yeah. First page you Intro. see is what you get. What WYSIWYG, yeah. man. It's like WYSIWYG <laughs> yeah. to the nth yeah. degree. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, and then uh, I guess tomorrow we'll work on sort of, you know, the sections two and four, which are, mm -hmm. you know, sort of the early investigation, the philosoph philosophic grounding, and the uh, the actual art itself, mm -hmm. and then uh, depending on how far we get, the third day will continue and then finish. That, nice. This uh, publication. I always love that the whole like we're gonna finish. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I really like. I'm gonna. I'm can't wait. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. Well, we have a lot to get through, but I think we can do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh, moving on. So. I was gonna talk about images, so this is it. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. so we have to know what we're doing. So. Oh man, <laughs> someone earlier, I think it was Jaden said, put credit where credit is due. And I'm like, yeah. oh, boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so good. normally there's a uh, copyright to images that are uh, created by other people. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is uh, something called fair use, which is a uh, legal doctrine that like permits uh, using uh, images that are not yours. Um, some of the reasonable, uh, yeah, reasonable uses are sort of commentary, which mm -hmm. this is, um, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, sort of research and scholarship. So this is a sort of academic research that yeah. I, a bigger part of research I'm doing. It is now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this is research now? So therefore yeah. I can use whatever I want. <laughs> Yeah, but basically <laughs> a lot of it has to do with, um, you know, are you profiting from it mm -hmm. or what is the intent? Yeah. You know, uh, so basically, um, yeah, this information I just pulled from, you know, sources um, online. Totally. So, you know, the use of images for teaching, research, and the images in scholarship is considered fundamental to the invest uh, advancement of collective knowledge. So that's like sort of why mm -hmm. this is okay. Right, because we're going to be teaching people about phenomenology. Right. I mean, a lot of it is really like teaching myself, like self-learning, but obviously I wanted to, I'm creating this in order to share my research totally. to other people. Totally. So, yeah. And I love this. I'm already learning. I mean, we haven't even been on for like <laughs> 15 minutes and we're already Ooh, teaching yes. people all about, you know, like fair usage, yeah. how to do a brief. I mean, cool. this is amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. And so basically, you know, uh, moving along, sort of the research as the uh, as original arg uh, argument and places imagery in a different context. So a lot of the images I will be using are sort of images of specific artworks. Mm -hmm. So using it in the sense that um, it's informational in this publication is a different use than the purely aesthetic you right, know, right. statement of the artists themselves. Um, and then obviously give credit and the uh, sources uh, to the. Totally. To the creators themselves. And then uh, basically, you know, the, the, here are like four factors of fair use to kind of judge if something is fair or mm -hmm. not. Um, basically, you know, first thing is like purpose. It's like, is it for non a nonprofit educational purposes mm -hmm. or is it commercial? Yeah. Um, this isn't going to be commercial because you're not yeah. going to sell it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's just for phenomenology. Yeah. Just for our own like <laughs> education. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. It's for us. Yeah. You know, for you and me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then, cool. um, and then the nature of it is it, you know, fact based, mm -hmm. which this is. Or, um, it's a different story when you use something and then right. use it and as then a say fictional it's fiction. Thing. Yeah, 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 not it's as like good. Not, yeah, no. Um, and then the m amount of the work, you know, only using what is needed mm -hmm. um, and not over. For example, like if I um, use a ton of images of like one artist, that's like their own like autobiography. Or right, like right, right. Of, you know, that's, that's not, not fair. That's not yeah. something that. Um, Again, that's not fair. That's yeah. unfair. That's, that's not fair. That's yes. Not fair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, we've yeah. got some new people in chat. Hey, Ryden. Hi. Hey, Kilda. Hey, Yazin. Hey, Kareem. Welcome, guys. For those of you who are just joining, Steven Zhu is here, and he is going through yes. his brief for editorial design on phenomenology. Yes. 
And we're just going some going through some fair use sort That's of. That's right. Yeah. We're going through why this is going to be editorial fun. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then yeah, to finish it off, the uh, last thing to consider is the effect. So would it harm the copyright's owner's ability to profit from the work? Mm -hmm. So you know, we're just creating this for our own purposes again. So totally. Yeah. So I think we're fine. <laughs> I think this is good. Yeah. yeah totally. Yeah. yeah. So moving along, let's get some some visual stuff going. Love this. So, oh yeah. yeah. We're like oh. Okay, <laughs> we're there's over things to look the lecture. At. I'm like yeah. okay, this is great. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yes. Such yeah. visual animals we are. We're like, oh, yay. Yeah. yeah. Phenomenoms. Phenomenoms. Yeah, Noms. people are like, I'm going to eat phenomenoms. Yeah. Phenomenom, phenomenom. Yeah, so just this is sort of the, like a visual um, kind of to give us an idea of like what sort of um, sensibilities that we're working with. Yeah. Um, not necessarily like stylistically. Right, uh, it's the aesthetic overall. Yeah, yeah, kind of um, natural colors, kind of contemporary, like yeah. um, modern design, sort mm -hmm. of a little bit playful, uh, a little bit, um, you know, breaking the rules somewhat, but not totally. too much. It's still, we want it to still be like readable and everything to totally. serve a purpose. Uh, but there's a lot of like interesting tension over here, you know, these kind of different colors playing with each other. Mm -hmm. um, different size of uh, text, uh, different column width. Nice. This one's kind of crazy. You have like some center text over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. that's sort of just like, like rule schmules. Yeah. we do what we want. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and some like interesting, you know, tension here. Uh, this one's interesting too. It's like really fluid mm -hmm. on first glance, but you can see kind of has like a three column grid probably. So and Kevin's asking, how do you find your ideas? Like, where do you go to start for, like, looking for ideas? Uh, in terms of, like, content? Or? Visual, yeah, yeah. Visual ideas based oh, visual on ideas any based given on. or defined concept or strategy. Like, do you yeah. think of the strategy or concept first? Or how do you go about it? I think it? a lot of it is just to, um, like, see what fits the, the concept. Mm -hmm. Sort of, um, does it make sense? Yeah. You know, and then go from there. Yeah, that's kind of. And what got you drawn into phenomenology? Uh, yeah, so I guess like for the past like, I don't know, a long time, but like especially the last, um, I'd say from the summer, I was really, really into kind of understanding abstract art. Uh -huh. It's like, you know, how do you make sense of it? How do you totally. really, like, what is it? Um, yeah, I guess just personally I was drawn into it and then got deeper and deeper into this like rabbit hole of like yeah. <laughs> philosophy. Okay, okay. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Personal passion projects always yeah. become something that is much greater and brings yeah. a lot of joy because, you know, it, it usually leads to something bigger. Yeah, that's for sure. great. Yeah. So. so for those of you who are just joining us, we are here with Steven Zhu and he is just mm -hmm. wrapping up through his brief and we are going to get to design in just a second. Yeah. But we also have the chat and win countdown. So in about six minutes, if you are in chat, all you have to do is be present and say something and you have the ability to win a notebook from Moo. So Ooh. hardcover Ooh. notebook, pretty nice. The paper's super smooth. Yeah. yeah. I love <laughs> like yeah. We do. We're yeah. like, we like Moo. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That's great. <laughs> all right. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, this is the first sort of visual sort of uh, references we're gonna that's nice. like influencing us, but also there's a second one too. Ooh, so yeah. So this one's more like I was like, oh <laughs> yeah, look at that, a little Dadaism. Yeah, a little Dadaism. <laughs> so yeah, this one's I was thinking more about like um, sort of a Swiss postmodern kind Whoa. of idea, you know, yep. like a little bit um, Wolfgang Weinkart like inspired. Like this one is Love you know that. him. Uh, like a lot of it is like, you know, the Swiss grid, but then breaking the grid a little yep. bit to pay, being a little bit playful. Um, we're probably not gonna go as crazy as something like this, but <laughs> you know. You're like, it might not yeah. be that playful, but you know, you yeah. never know. Yeah, I, I find it really though. interesting, you know, how the development, like. Completely. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, that's kind of what we're, you know, our general like guide, you know, guidelines and sensibility, sensibilities. Um, for like what we're designing, this so it great. will be it will be mostly structured, but you know, playful at the same time. Cool. To make it you know interesting. Well, I'm excited now. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, and then uh, in terms of color, mm -hmm. so the publication uh, mostly it will highlight the pictures themselves. So that's why I have like four shades of gray. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> so great. So I don't though. want it to like really use color, but you know, <laughs> yeah. use it in a very subtle way. Oh, quite. 
Kevin has a great question about yeah. this too. He's like, do you sketch layouts for designs first? Yeah, so I guess actually yes, it looks like you I do. I do have some sketches. Yes. Yeah, I kind of I need them? yes. Let's yeah? put here, okay. put it down right here, okay. and we'll take a look. If you want to walk through any of this, yeah, wow. these are just some like cover ideas that I kind of like was thinking about, and then some general like layout ideas. These are just totally. like mostly scribble. Oh, I think is it? No, it's uh, there. No, I think it's right side up for them. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> no, it is yeah, it's this way. <laughs> the camera was upside down. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I think, so, yeah, we'll, we'll talk into a bit more maybe once we get into the actual cover design and layout and stuff. But yeah, I mean, most of these are probably cool like non legible. <laughs> no, this like is scribbles great for to me. see. Well, yeah, yeah it, it scribbles, but it also gives you area for copy. It shows you what you're going to yeah. do. You, this is quite a bit of work already. This is great. Yeah, but I, you know, it's, I think to answer the question is like a little bit of both. Like I do mm -hmm. some sketches, but also kind of, I yeah, tend to play around form. a lot yeah. in the programs themselves. Yeah. Um, I'm not too much of a, you know, column grid person. I like to mm -hmm. kind of play around. You can, Let yeah, me speak really... in my language. I'm like, yeah, yeah. we just yeah. want to play. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can like really, um, you can get to some like interesting stuff just by playing. You know, totally. Yeah. Awesome. You never know what's gonna work. So. Do you <laughs> yeah. know Kevin? No, I don't believe so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was I... like, huh? Hi. <laughs> hi, Andre. Hi, Kevin. Yeah. Hi, Nagar. Hi, Equipaz. Yeah. Hi, Kilda and Yasmin. Yay! And oh. yes, three minutes left for chat and win. Ooh, cool. Chat and win. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your sketches. Yeah. Even though I hijacked them, you had no choice. <laughs> no, for sure. Yeah, so yeah, back to the color, I think like, you know, mostly neutral grays, um, but diff I think these grays will do a lot for us, you know, a light gray, a dark gray, and like mm -hmm. a kind of a middle cool gray and a warm gray, you know, yeah, like totally. a lot of variety. Um, and then I was thinking, you know, sometimes we do want to use our text and stuff in a powerful way. Mm -hmm. And so we have some, you know, primary yes. here. It's like, You're like I was we're thinking, just going to go red. We're going to shout. Yeah, I love yeah. it. I was thinking, you know, what grabs your attention the most? You know, that's red. the two colors. Totally, red, red and, yellow. and yellow. Yeah. yeah, it's like fire yeah. and caution. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard that, you know, I was like, I think red was like the first color that we gave a name to or something like that. Really? Yeah. So it has, you know, the, that's the color that like we see. Yes. Or react to the most. Completely. And then I think scientifically, um, yellow is the color that really jumps out at you the most. Yeah. Um, Why do you think I wear red and yellow? I mean, my uh, hair is yeah. practically <laughs> yellow and yeah. red handkerchief. There I'm going. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Can't miss you now. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. I did it for part of your design. I just wanted to make that point. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So that's pretty basic um, color, but there's also. So we'll see, you know, with the images, we might just color drop. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you never know. Like, once you yeah, get in there, yeah. you're like, I actually hate yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, no. you're like, I love yellow, red. though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yellow can be a little hard to work with sometimes. Yes. But, yeah. Kevin says ketchup and mustard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <Right here. laughs> it all depends on how you use it. McDonald's, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, Shh. <laughs> yeah, no. they will probably most likely not be together very much. Actually. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, and if there are, there's ways you can use it to make it look pretty darn cool. Yeah. That's yeah. the power design. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Moving along, uh, I just did some like really basic type of exploration. These are just some like texts I thought might be interesting. Nice. Some ones that I really liked or would like to try out and use. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, like a GT Cetra. Sectra is a nice um, kind of modern uh, serif. Has these like sharp, you know, serifs. Can you see the C over here? Totally, tears? really yeah. beautiful. It's very yeah, really, uh, really nice. Spectra GT's man, GT's always got some great. Yeah. They have great foundry. Some really nice yeah, work. Really great work. I love GT SD too. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah, good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, got another GT down here. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yep. <laughs> this one's, uh, We're just going to nerd out about GT right now. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, this one's interesting because. But before we do, yeah. chat oh, win yes. time. Okay, so what's your favorite font? Go. <laughs> Okay, so 
What is your favorite font, guys? We yeah. gotta know because Chad Win is ready to, to give a winner. Yeah. <laughs> lobster, uh, what? Lobster. <laughs> Voltage, <laughs> Futura Din. Yeah, oh Futura my gosh, Din. Comic Papyrus. That would be the most oh amazing love child of bad fonts. Yeah. <laughs> also Rift, Halcyon. Wow, Crimson, Avenir, so many Asia. fonts. Lotto, yeah. Railway. Papyrus for sure, <laughs> yeah. Bookmania. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, Tilda, Archer, Ox, Wingdings. Wingding, yeah. Good one, Kerwin. Good one. We yeah. don't believe you. One Once bit. Out. Yeah, that one's nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> National Momentum. Yeah. Stratos. Pangram. Yeah, Pangram. Wow, yeah. Pangram's great. Yeah, you're like, that's mine. I picked that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like, that's me. Me. <laughs> Comic Sans. Yeah, yeah it's nice. our favorite font ever. What's up, Comic Sans? Yeah. Plus Weekly. Hmm, so many. Authentico. I haven't heard of that yeah, one. Interesting. Yeah. Franklin Gothic. Now we're like, hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> so yeah. it looks like we're ready to pull up a winner, and <laughs> there's going to be some awesome lucky person that gets a hardcover Moo notebook. So Moo is actually pretty awesome because not only do they make everything really simple and easy, they also make it beautiful. Mm -hmm. You get to have uh, any sort of business material made with them. And... Bray, Bray Hammersley. Man, that's a cool name. Bray Hammersley, you are the winner of a Moo hardcover notebook. Hey. Lucky you, lucky Moo. Uh, cool. But don't worry, for those of you who didn't win, Moo is giving us 15% off if you go to moo.com backslash Adobe Live. Yay. Hey. That's pretty lucky. <laughs> cool. That means you get it too. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I know. Wow. You're like, oh, really? You're like, I like cool. this. Thank you, Moo. <laughs> And yeah. congratulations, Bray Hammersley. And mm. awesome name, Bray. It's just Hammersley. And it rhymes. That's so cool. It's yeah. like yours. Steven yeah. Zoo. Is it rhyme? Right? I don't know. No. Woo hoo hoo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I like this. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, woo hoo. Just coming off with things. Yeah. I can't help it. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> we'll get back to this cool. now. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Back to type. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just kind of. Um, Trying to select a type, I did some like re very, um, you know, simple like exploration. Yeah, a few that it was interesting. Um, yeah, I kind of right now I really like these two sort of Cinetype and Founders Grotesque. Mm -hmm. uh, I found that they have um, quite a bit of contrast against each other. Nice. Um, as you can see here, if you see the length, this one is like yep. one of the longest, and this one's like sort of very short too, mm -hmm. very condensed uh, in that way. Um, Found as grotesque, being a grotesque typeface, um, it sort of has a very narrow sort of apertures openings, like mm -hmm. here, like the C or um, or the five even. Yeah. Um, whereas very this tight. one is like very open. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, mostly I'm interested just to play with the cinetype. How it's a very ex expressive typeface and it it's is. very like functional too. And it's really um, clean. It's nice. Yeah has zero curves, <laughs> so yeah. it's like... See, it's very intense. clean and nice. This yeah. is gonna be great, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I think the two, uh, this one is like a fairly, yeah, nice bit of contrast, and this one not too much, but mm -hmm. it has like a nice energy to it, nice character. Yeah, this is fantastic. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll, we might change in the in the work. I too. love so, it, yeah. yeah. These are just some like primary ideas. But, yeah. Well, I'm 100% with Kevin Schneider here by saying, yeah. we like your working style. Structured yeah. with a clear strategy, but still a lot of room for creative work. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You never know. This do I just like do a little high five? Because like you're <laughs> awesome! <laughs> awesome. <Yeah>. Okay, cool. <laughs> awesome. Well, we have, um, is there any more to the brief? Is no, that I the end of the brief? That's really it. Oh my yeah. gosh, we've been briefed. We've been briefed. Just as we've been briefed here, you guys should be working on your daily challenge. So oh, if you're looking challenge. at the corner of the screen, that means you have 25 minutes. 25 minutes until the challenge is due. So all you have to do is check out the font package that Barbara put together. Use some new fonts that are in that submission font folder. And that's on Adobe Fonts. And what you can do is create a two-page spread, upload that in the next 25 minutes, and then Steven is going to give it a little critique, and you'll have the chance to win a year's worth awesome. of Creative Cloud. Wow. Pretty good, right? Yeah, that's You're like, amazing. I want to win. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You're like, me, me, I want to win. Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. All yeah. right, cool. Well, cool. let's get into design. Yeah, shall In we? design, get it? We had this in talk design. earlier. In design. Okay. Yeah, so. We're getting in design. 
I see. So, okay, day one. Uh, mm -hmm. we'll... You're like, let's do day one. <laughs> yeah. I think we should start with day three. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just do the fixes and changes. Yeah, let's, let's do it. everything yeah. backwards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we do have to create some stuff to work with. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let's just jump into it. Um, create a structure. Yeah. Let's do create a new document. So, what did we say? I think it was seven and a half. Seven and a half by ten? Yes. Yes. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I like to just start with like three pages because mm -hmm. you have like one cover and one spread. Yeah. That's really all you need at the beginning. Um, totally. And then we can add later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The rest we can kind of deal with later. Um, let's just call it, I don't know. Art and phenomenology. <laughs> hey, you're like, let's just call it what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You so, know what? I like this. Let's just do it. It's direct, yeah. Let's just do it. <laughs> let's just do it. So, We're doing it. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> cool. So we have our three pages. Um, yeah, let's go to our, you know, master. Kind of play with our sort of general setup of like margins and grids. Yeah. Um, just to, just so that we have some idea of what we're working with. Totally. Um, kind of I will go into the margins and columns. So let's see. Uh, top 0.5 is good. I think maybe bottom a bit higher. We have some nice. Oh, selected one page of the master. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's happening? You're like, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on there, guys. Yeah, let's change everything at the same time. So, so chat while we're working and getting, while Steven's putting together all the margins, I'm curious, uh, what are you guys uh, working on right now out there and where are you from? Tell us, are you working in editorial as well? And then don't forget, if you have questions for Steven. Adobe Cool Cat. Yeah, Ooh. Adobe Cool Cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, nice yes. Um, Sebastian Vandeven has a question. Uh, he's yes. having trouble finding a topic about the challenge today. Like, do you have any suggestions? Uh, and like how you find topics for your own work? That's a good question. Uh, mostly just like whatever I was interested in at the moment. You yeah. Know, that's kind of like how this project came to be. Totally. Seb, uh, I think you should focus on food. Maybe about cupcakes or something. Food, yeah. I happen to know Seb and his uh, yeah. fiance is yeah. a very, very good baker. So Ooh, yeah, I think you should focus on baking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lost and found foods. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> yes. So yeah, uh, let's do let's do a nice like six column. Oh so yeah. Have some flexibility. Lots of people out there working on their portfolios and on yeah. building and design templates for work and email design and coding. Wow, I've got a lot of people out there working. This is great. Cool. So that means that they're all avoiding work by watching you. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> You're like, oh no, I don't know if I'm that's gonna the get good in thing. trouble. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that, uh, just as a layout yeah. um, grid section. Um, but let's see. We can do throw on some text. I don't know. Oh man, Ryan Ford's right. Who remembers ring pops? I remember ring pops. Do you remember ring pops? Do you know what a ring pop is? No. How old are you? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a ring, but it's a giant sucker, and you're all like. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I do know what that is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See, he's totally like in his forties. You just can't tell. <laughs> cool. I just make myself laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, over the next three days, Kevin's asking you to share three to five tips of your best tips of editorial design. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a tall order, Kevin. Yeah. I'm glad we have well, three probably, days. We'll, we'll get yeah, through it. We'll yeah. get through it, yeah. As we work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally, as we work. <laughs> yeah. So, kind of just kind of see what, how the text will play with the actual grid themselves. Mm -hmm. um, Phenomenology. Yeah. We want to do to do do to do Eric Zoo do 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 do. We want to do our page number. 
Characters. Or actually, I'm just gonna type it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, now, that's cool. Just to see what it looks like, you know. Yeah, you gotta see. So we know. Don't you love okay. that Adobe Fonts just loads everything now and there's no limit? Oh, oh yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's limitless. Thanks, Adobe Fonts. Thanks for being cool like that. So cool. <laughs> yeah, Eric Sue, hey. <laughs> kind of worked your name into that little song I created. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah. Let's give ourselves a little more space. Nice. In the end, because um, I think we might want to do the page numbers like kind of here so that it's out of the way from the text if we you know, have a large body of text yeah. here in the column. Give us some space. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Now we can add the page numbers. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, now we're doing this. It. Pretty yeah. good. <laughs> uh, page number. Cool. So let's see. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Osama. How are you? Welcome. Good to see you back, Yadira. Do oh. to do. So, Stephen, what would mm -hmm. your dream project be if someone just handed you? Like any project to say, we want you to do this. Oh wow! Like and yeah. take as much time as you need, and here's a million dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> They're gonna pay you to do your dream project. What would it be? <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, a nice, like, very excessive book would be nice. Excessive? <laughs> yeah, yes. Like, super excessive. <laughs> like, what is the You're point like, of this? Like, pretty much like. <laughs> Thousand page novel about yeah. phenomenology. No, it probably would be like more like. Well, obscure. not novel because yeah. that would be fiction. We want yeah. it to be nonfiction, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Just like yes. fun stuff. Exploration. Yes. Yeah. That, that's that's pretty fun. good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're like something excessive. <laughs> yeah. Something excessive. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Let's make sure I save mm. our document. Yes. Um, Very good. Yeah. Very, very, <laughs> very good. Yeah. Uh, hello, Alice. Welcome. Hello. Thank you for joining us. And hello, Ty. Yes. Yes, Ty. We're bobbing because of the music in our hearts. We can't hear anything in here. I'm keeping uh, Stephen company with my own song. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I wish we could hear music. That'd be nice. Oh, yeah. You know, they all hear music. We don't. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> You're like, oh, <laughs> okay. this changes everything. Cool. <laughs> so true. It does change everything. Yeah, so I think now that we kind of are pretty happy with what we're working with. Yeah. Uh, Is this minimal data design? Is it done? <laughs> <laughs> You're no. like, we're done. <laughs> no. Uh, You're like, jokes yeah. on you guys, it is Dada. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah just Grizz. Just, yeah, right? Just Grizz for the entire, like, yeah. Two, two <laughs> page numbers. <laughs> yep. It's our book. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, it is a, a phenomenon. <laughs> yeah. That's a twist. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so funny. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, yes, Ricardo. Yes, if you can try and use the Barber Pack, there's tons of fonts in there for the challenge, and they're going to be pretty fun to see. Also, Alice is asking, can you tell me how to come up with the gutter dimensions? That's something that you can go into preferences. Yes. And then you can add dimensions from uh, so pretty much yes setup. document setup. Yeah. So you can go through and add in gutter and add in margins and bleed and slug, anything you need to do there. Um, yes, that actually reminds me I should add a bleed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. You're like, yeah, let's do it anyway, why not? <laughs> actually, I think that wasn't the right. Oh, maybe it is. Hmm. Cool. Cool. Yeah. All right, yeah. 
Ooh, I kind of like that we're doing it twice too. It's like, the, it's you're like repeating yeah. it now. You're like yeah. the art of phenomenology. <laughs> the art of phenomenology. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually doing the second sort of part of it. Yeah, right? So like <laughs> I'm teasing you. <laughs> you're like, wait, which part? Ah, uh, yes, the uh, synopsis. Yeah. Nice. Can't find it now. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> You're like where, shoot, is it? where is it? <laughs> oh, okay, here, a species journal. Yeah, that's what it was. Perfect. Oh, I love it. You're like, oh, yeah, what is this thing again? Oh, right, it's a research journal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Silly. Yeah. Oh, Jan Eric said you have fabulous hair. You need to work for Adobe. All people oh, in wow. Adobe have fabulous hair, apparently. <laughs> I'm just gonna personally take that compliment because I'm here, so thank yep. you. Yeah, you do have a good hair. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so funny. Uh, Paco's got great hair too. What's up, Paco? <laughs> nice, this is a research journal. I just love that you've already done all the research. This is your yeah. own content. I mean, that just makes it that yeah. much more powerful. Yeah, do your do your research. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know you're like I do research. I'm like yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, that's, that's an important insane. part of design, actually. You know. Oh yeah. great, thanks Eric. Thanks Jan Eric. Thanks Michael. <laughs> They're like my hair's good too. <laughs> Steven's hair is really nice though, right? I don't know. Yeah. We're just trying to make you blush. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're like, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I think now we can like kind of work on some covers. Um, totally. I kind of already started a really, really basic one, but yeah. I love it. Um, let's see what we can do. Nice. Um, all of these are kind of You're like, like really all of these simple, are awesome. Simple ideas, but yeah, we'll, but I think we'll that make they it should be. See. It's yeah. a phenomenon, you yeah. know. Yeah. It, to do something very simple is also going to be leaving room for the complex. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. That's right. Awesome. Cool. So I think we'll start with, I don't know, this one might be fun to do. We'll jump into like maybe Photoshop. Yeah, let's do it. Here. These are cool. Yeah. Love so, it. Let's see. Um, this might be a little bold. So you guys have about 12 minutes until challenge submissions. Wow, that wasn't a lot of time. No, not a lot of time <laughs> at all. You're like, shoot. And hopefully you guys are all submitting them now and then we will have something to look at. And you'll get awesome comments from Steven Zhu here. So far we've got a few in there. This is exciting. I'm very excited to see what else comes in. Super duper. <clears throat> so, Steven, you're from mm -hmm. Portland. Yes, mm -hmm. I am. Nice. Cool. We'll try. I'll try to ask you questions without distracting <laughs> you from your work. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah I, have, I feel like I can't, like, juggle. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, like you do you. You do you. <laughs> no, no. I'll try. I'll try my best. <laughs> you do you, and I'll yeah. chat with chat. <laughs> chat with chat. Chat with chat, yeah. yeah. I don't like this action going on, like kind of a. That's cool. Know. That's bouncing. Yeah. Do our own. Yeah. So yeah, I was thinking for this one, for this one, we might jump into Photoshop. Cool. Have like a little type treatment. Love it. With that. I love the new Photoshop artwork. Yeah. For the opening, it's kind All of, of them like a really phenomenon nice. <laughs> looking <Yeah>. feel. So. <laughs> yeah. This is good. We're just gonna do 300 DPI because we're printing. Um, nice. I'm gonna call it. Um, I don't know. Title. So let's see, we're copying this in, so we can do. So right let's now, see. are you yeah. gonna make some sort of um, imagery with it or mix imagery with it? 
Uh, no, I think just sort of trying out different type treatments. Mm. Uh, I was thinking about, you know, the idea of phenomenology having this like really um, sort of transient ephemeral quality to oh, it. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I might do, let's see, um, I can try like a, a fragment sort of action going on. Oh, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. sort of, uh, is it there, is it, is it right. not, you know, sort of. Um, idea, uh, maybe even like a, I don't know, a blur. Try like a motion blur. Let's see what works. Whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. Hi there, Alex. Thanks for joining us. Welcome from Moldova. Totally heard of Moldova before, so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mako. Hello, Alice. Woohoo! Welcome. And we can kind of go back and adjust sort of how much we want mm -hmm. of these, uh, since it is a smart object that we nice. copied. Um, it doesn't make too much difference there. Yeah, Voodoo Bell's like, I'm Ooh. super into this type effect right now. Me too. I think it's super cool. This is I interesting. like that. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's still legible. Yeah, it is. <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of uh, interesting, kind of without a background. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, people are liking the motion blur. This is cool. We'll save that into our things. So, kind of just have that down here, be a little smaller. Doesn't need to be that big, sort of competing with mm -hmm. the text itself. Oh, <laughs> no. Just gonna so cool. lay that in there. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, it's phenomenal. Nice. Kind of use it as a shadow almost. Um, but cool. And then kind of dropping the opacity down a little bit. Ah. Equipoise Designers is asking, what's your source of inspiration? And do you have inspirational designers who inspiration. you follow? Yeah, I have like a lot. Um, it's really good designers and agencies that do really, really awesome work. So I try to like look as much as I can, sort mm -hmm. of kind of gathering like through osmosis, like what totally. they're doing, you're like, mm. you know? Yeah. You're like, so that's what's ideas. happening over yeah. there. <laughs> but also just kind of getting inspiration from elsewhere too, you know, in general, like, um, I guess it helps that, you know, having a practice in like photography or some other areas yeah. uh, or, you know, fine art in general. Just yeah, about, extremely inspirational. Yeah. 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 I think um, other disciplines will help to inspire the one that you're in. Yeah, for sure. So I'm making I lock that layer down a little bit. Yeah, you are. Lock it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Locking it down. <laughs> I wasn't kind of doing what I wanted to do, so. We got Gus back. Bot, because back bot in the back, botting up. <laughs> there we go, there's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> what are we working with here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like lost. I'm so <laughs> you're like, what am I working on? I'm like, yeah. you're like, where am I? I'm like, you're not in Portland. <laughs> yeah, why am I here? I don't know. <laughs> Asking philosophical questions. Yeah, right. I don't know. <laughs> You're like, I'm still researching somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's copy our colors over. Because nice. we want our colors. You're like, we need a little color in our life, you know. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> copy. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You're like, shoot. Yeah, I really like the, the gray color palette. The tones of oh, the gray are really lovely. The first yeah. one has a little bit of pink in it almost. It's nice. This one? Yeah. Yeah. It's got like a little bit it's of. It's like a like nice, like, snow yeah. color. Yeah. I guess that's like. It's got a natural 
good field. And the good that. thing is that in InDesign, once you copy the color over, they're automatically, automatically in, in your, your swatches. So Love it. you don't yep. have to like in Illustrator, you have to like drag it down. <laughs> like, yeah. Totally. So you're like, we don't need to do that. We've got just it. Delete that. Um, so also, uh, let's not delete that. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, actually, uh, we're gonna need these. You're like, shoot. <laughs> yeah, um, because we kind of want to mimic our paper color a little bit, just to mm -hmm. so, just to see. Kinda oh yeah, give what it the idea. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, because as I we like said, that. that's always smart. Yeah. Um, as we um, kind of discussed earlier, the color that uh, I picked has mm -hmm. like a little, um, like a brown, uh, brown to neutral gray sort of yeah. texture to the it. The milkweed color. Yeah, yep. exactly. So we kind of just, just roughly. Like, so we created milkweed, and we're gonna put it in the back. Oh yeah. Just roughly give us an idea of how that might look. Yup. Not like an accurate representation or anything, but oh, that already looks nice. It feels warmer. It's yeah. good. Make sure that's on our back. Oh, and actually, we don't need the page number on the first cover. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? You're like, we'll that? get rid of that. You're like, what's yeah. that number doing there? Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there was I was just doing the shortcut for that. I was like. So because the number was in our master slides, um, it's like locked uh, in place. Nice. So oh the, yeah, we can take it out. The shortcut after. was like command shift, I believe. Nice. So to oh, Taylor's from Portland. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Pulse Cipher. Taylor Pulse Cipher. Does that yeah. ring a bell? Best friend? No, but no. yeah, we should talk yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah. You're like, we should talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, what's up, Taylor? Yeah, yeah we should talk. Huh. <laughs> Once I get back. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> mm-hmm. Totally. Do, no, probably not. Do, do. Uh, we might get some. Let's see. Yeah, it looks nice with the color tone of the paper in the background. Yeah. It's pretty. Oh man, you guys have two minutes left until challenge submission deadline. That means that we will then be looking at your challenge submissions and Stephen will give you comments, constructive criticism, suggestions, accolades, a high five in the air, all the things. Yeah, high yeah. five, digital high five. Digital <laughs> high five, yes. we'll be like. <laughs> Virtual <laughs> high five. Yes, yeah. we'll just high five each other for you guys. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Always date things. <laughs> as I a like designer. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's very good. Uh, let's see, I don't know. It's still a little dark for me, actually. Actually, hmm. So this is the part where you really play. Um, I think. So this is that. Uh, yeah. What if we just have that? I don't know. Oh yeah. Interesting. I think that's cool. Bigger. Yeah. Sort of, sort of idea. Mm hmm. Looking cool. Nice. And it's the final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Got a minute. Type of pickle drop dun, shadow dun, effect. Ooh, yeah. whoa. Look at that. You're like, I was <laughs> yeah. like, whoa, we just got some red in there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's see what we can do with it. Totally. That. I was in the back before and we were you were sitting next to me while I was buying tickets to go see Suspiria. And oh. I was like, oh, there's all this red lines on the front of the page. It was so cool. And now I'm like, you're designing something cool like that. Have fun. I love this. I don't know. This is I just mean, like no, I love it personally. To get that but I don't think that there, it's legible. You know? <laughs> I think you needed to get it out, but then we can't keep it. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's use it somewhere else. <laughs> we'll see. Ah, oh, too funny. Oh man, yeah, Nagar. I saw Full Metal Jacket the other night. It was insane. <laughs> Never seen it before. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> 
Cool. I like how you're like, I had to get it out there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We have other looks options. like poor art and phenomenology <laughs> is behind bars. Yeah. They're like, no. Oh man, it is deadline. Whoa. Wow. Ooh. You guys. Interesting. Yeah. We're, whew. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Export as a spread, Seb. Yes. You can export as spread. That is a checkbox in InDesign when you are exporting. And if you didn't get to submit it this time, don't worry, folks. There is a chance to submit in the session right after ours. So if you're not able to submit before the end of this deadline, which is now, then you'll be able to submit before 2.30. All right, so I'm just gonna hop in here. All right, we're almost ready. Do, do, do. Uh, wow. Oh, I know, right? That's this interesting. Is, yeah, okay, so Ooh. let's hop over to my screen, Ooh. and we're gonna look at our first entry by D Nagar Marhamadi. This is insane, wow. look at that image. I like that ampersand. So cool, lot. right? Yeah. Very cool ampersand. Yeah. So, Steven Zhu, tell us what you think. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing has like a really good energy to it. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. You're like, it's, yeah, it's, man, it's yeah. Really good. Um, <laughs> We're like, whoa! <laughs> Nagar, this is like awesome. Yeah, I like what you're doing with the, the column of text there, too. It's like, um, yeah, I really do as justified. Well. Um, it's a little bit tough to, I mean, it is editorial, so it's one of those mm -hmm. things where it could be intentional that yeah. the justified left and right mm -hmm. are giving a lot of strange rivers, mainly like with the odds and ends, yeah, and then sure. the with odds and ends and through here. So, yeah. you know, that's something where you can either go in and hand uh, mm -hmm. break the lines yeah. so that you can re-rag it by hand, which is yeah. not always like what you want to do, but that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Or if you're writing your own copy in here right now, you can just add a couple more words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I think actually, I don't know if it this is if it, this is going for that like really. Yeah, if it's going yeah, for a sparse look, yeah, then it yeah. totally works. And mm -hmm. it's, yeah, yeah, this is very very cool imagery. So I think that that definitely helps. But you're also using the image in an interesting way by the yeah. crop. Um, I would, yeah. I, I like it a lot, it's mm -hmm. nice. Nice job, Nagar. All right, let's see what's next. Odds and ends. Equipose designers. I wonder if this is like a group of people or if it's one person. Mm. Cool, odds and ends editorial. We've got both a cover and an interior spread. Yeah. Highlights from Steve Jobs' life. Jobs. Cool. Yeah. It's cool that you picked a topic and uh, followed through with it on the inside. Yeah. Cool. It's really nice. What do you What do you think? Any suggestions? Yeah, I think uh, maybe the the inside spread, the uh, images, are maybe too kind of together. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like maybe sparse it out a little, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Um, especially when you have. Uh, two or multiple images next to each other, it can create like it, it's um, a little hard to see Separate and digest. Separate them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like they almost need a little bit more mm -hmm. space around them. Yeah. And maybe even eliminating the one up here because it's right. so much that every spot is filled. There's no yeah. blank area for space to breathe. Right. I think yeah. if you have maybe like two or three, that would be a good number for the mm -hmm. spread. But I yeah. like the I like the um, yeah the co use of cover. color yeah mm -hmm. it's fun to see something different yeah that pink with the green is a nice like unexpected choice totally but yeah. it totally works yeah yeah it does this is great awesome yeah all right let's see what's next Erica Crystal oh sounds very classic yeah this is a, more of like a poetry editorial spread mm -hmm. this is very pretty. I love the textures that she's pulling in and yeah. how she's using them with color behind them to really pump them up. Mm -hmm. It's nice. 
I like the colored edges too. That's a nice touch. Yeah, too. totally. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah, it definitely looks like, um, you know, a editorial for poetry and haikus. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Very nice job. Cool. All right, Alexandra Hetherington. This is more of a, um, a photographic editorial. Mm -hmm. I think it would benefit for having like maybe some sort of extra Hierarchy copy or, or yeah. yeah. Between the images. Yeah, I would say for the next round, I would maybe look at adding in a, maybe a paragraph copy or some subhead somewhere that leads you into, even if it's just Greek copy, I think it's leading you into the idea that there's more story to tell. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Matt Kuistra. Odds and ends. Oh. Ooh, with a Rolleiflex. Yeah, It's all about nice. the antique camera shop. Woo! Oh, and look, you even did a spread. Yeah. Look at that. In mock-up. I like that. It's cool to see it both uh, flat and in mock-up. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's see, it's a little difficult to read, but I think it's just because of the image quality, not because of the design. Yeah. Um, although I would say maybe pumping up a little bit of the... Yeah, kind uh, of losing that yeah, text there. Yeah, losing the yeah. text here, here, and I think there might be some here. I can't tell. Hmm. Um, yeah, that would be good. Yeah, add some more contrast to the overall. Totally. Shape. Yeah. This is great. I love the I love the choice of ACR bot. I think it's always a fun font to add in, especially with it being perfectly geometric and the camera lens is perfectly geometric. Mm -hmm. Good choice. Noel Red, Plymouth Savoy. Oh, Plymouth. I'm like Plymouth Savoy. <laughs> Plymouth, yes. <laughs> That's yeah. something my mom would do. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, I see my future right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, odds and ends. Very interesting. I think that this is totally the use of odds and ends. It's like finding these like plastic flowers and these mm. old style cars and like making it come to life, the 1955 era. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. kind of fun. It's very different. And I don't think that it would be expected at all, actually. So this was um, a fun way to show that era. Nice job, Certainly. Noel. Yeah. Let's see. Um, I think that is it for the submissions Ooh. for this time. Really Ooh. nice job. Yeah. A lot of really a lot nice. of good work for like 25 minutes. That's oh, awesome, sure. guys. Really great. Yeah. Sure. Plymouth. Uh huh. Laypole <laughs> <laughs> <Le> pin. <laughs> Laypole. Oh my God. Lapel. Yes. <laughs> it's a laypole. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen Illustrator's in the background. I'll never let you forget that. I'm like, no, it's a lapel. <laughs> never, let never let it down. All right, Eric, let's go. Sorry, let's go back to Stephen's. Um, let's go back to Stephen's screen right now. Yeah. Um, okay. So where are we at now? We're behind bars. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Uh, we're just trying it out. Um, kind of see what we can. I do. like this. Yeah. You're like we're having fun. Kind of what it's about. <laughs> it is what it's about. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, let's get some a few other options. Um. Well, nice work, guys. I think that was really great to see all the editorial design. And don't worry if you didn't get a chance or if your submission wasn't due and done in time for the deadline. You still have a chance to submit again before two thirty today. So that's in another about two hours from now. Uh, so keep working. Keep getting stuff done and submit again, and you'll have a chance to win yeah. a year of Creative Cloud, which is awesome. So we're just going to do a separate one for a cover, separate document. <laughs> cool. Yeah. You're like, because we're going to do a lot of covers, and it's going to be Hopefully. a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Steven, what's your favorite food? Ooh, uh, I mean, I like ramen a lot. Yeah? Uh, that might be it, yeah. Favorite, hands down? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I like ramen too. Yeah. <laughs> there's a really, like, there's a bunch of really good ramen places in San Francisco. Is there good ramen in Portland? 
Uh, I think so, yeah. There's nice. a couple of good places, I think. Yeah, there's some very, very good ones. There's one in the Tenderloin that has duck leg. Oh. It's duck leg ramen. Oh, man, it's so good. Wow. Once they're out of duck, they're out of duck. Gotta get there early. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like where you're taking this. There's a method with the madness, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And do something a little bit different now. Let's see. Oh. oh, no, I'll have to look at what the ramen place is called. I can never remember the name, but I will put it in chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I never remember. It's super good though. <laughs> I know it's on the corner. <laughs> so I think this one, second cover, we're kind of just playing with the idea of them on themselves, kind of mm -hmm. have created this like visual um, yeah, dynamism. Uh, uh, they're elements all on their own now. I like that. Super cool. I still love the word phenomenology. It's a long word though. It's, you're like, <laughs> yeah, you're like, so it's not yeah. that fun to design with, but, yeah. but that's what makes it so interesting. <laughs> phenomenology. I might actually. Phenomeny. Let's go by I. Phenomena. <laughs> For not money. <laughs> did it, did it, did it, did it. Is our red? Oh, whoops. So the second idea, I kind of just wanted to use, I already have like them it. like separate, but. Yes. Um, Kind of the idea of like connecting the dots. Uh huh. Um, there's a lot of that's kind of what this research is. Totally. So like, Dot connecting. You... I love it. Who else out there is connecting the dots on all of this? I know I am. I'm really into phenomenology now. Yeah. I don't even know what it's about yet, <laughs> and I'm already really into it. <laughs> well, I do like phenomenon, so yeah. They're like, ooh, the dots are great. I'm like, they are great. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice. Kind of just a very simple approach, but you uh -huh. know, like I think the idea is like really what we're going after. Well, and I think conceptually it, it starts to make sense with the overall idea of phenomenons. Mm -hmm. Like you have to, it's kind of like conspiracy theories, you know? <laughs> like you connect yeah. all of these unrelated things then become related. We might even have like connect the dots as a title. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Andre Catano said, "A line is the dot that went for a walk." <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> okay. I totally saw you. Were like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's great. Might, that is great. We might include that. Yeah. Somewhere. Right. <laughs> like You're like, that's going to go in the book. That's going in the book, Andre. Yeah. <laughs> you made it in the book. <laughs> uh, too funny. I love it. Oh, he's like Paul Klee said it. Oh, OK. Totally. <laughs> Paul Klee, man. Master. A ray is a dot that went for a walk. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is a Paul Klee quote. Oh, yeah. That's great. Paul Klee quote is a really hard three things Paul to. Paul I Klee pronounce quote. it Paul Clay. I think that's. Paul Clay? Yeah. Paul Clay quote. Paul Clay quote. Yeah, that's, hard, also, right? that's also hard. hard. Yeah, it's yeah. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's hard. <laughs> this is looking very lovely. 
Oh, that's kind of uh, another route that we can go with. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do. You're let's like, see. let's do one more. Yeah. Let's do. What about like something one of the? Like this yeah, or that. one of those. Yeah. Those are cool. Jump into. Okay, I think yeah. uh, I have a good idea. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> totally. You're uh, like, I got this. Well, that's okay. We have about ten minutes, so okay. you definitely cool. have time. Seeing as you just created that other one in like five minutes. Maybe maybe three minutes. I'm gonna Let's go with three. Try another our other font. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Semi bold. Franklin Grotesque is nice. It is nice. It's, it's a nice it's classic. It's a nice classic font. Yeah. I don't know. I really like uh, the GT. Which one is it that you're using? GT. Uh, Cine Cinetype. Cinetype. Yeah. yeah. Super nice. Let's see. Maybe what if. Curious now. What if we just <laughs> borrow the bar that's over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're or like, let's borrow those bars. I think for this one, I wanted to create kind of a. Actually, you know what? I might. Brandis hmm. Grosses has like a mono version too. Oh, yeah. So that might be interesting to try out. Indeed. Mono. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's a little. <laughs> it's a little different from what I thought. But. Oh, that's looking nice, though. I think that, you know, in small size, it feels more appropriate. It's hard to read when it's that large in uppercase, isn't it? Yeah. I think it looks like pretty elegant right now, though. I use a yellow. Oh. Yes, hi Cesar. Oh, I love that. Four names. Cesar Antonio Rivera Gomez. Ooh, Ooh la la. Welcome. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, we're gonna do something fun. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I think I have an idea. I was like, ooh, are we? <laughs> I love fun. <laughs> Break it up again. Yeah. Kind of. Steven Zoo. Do 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 do. Teen. That's good. Ha ha. Whoa! It's two thirty a.m. There, wherever you are, you should go to bed. Equipose. <laughs> Yeah, and Al Henning likes this. She says it's hot. Hot. Super hot. Yeah, and Shaggy Rodrigo says Steven loves the details. It's awesome. It is pretty awesome. Hey, Emra, welcome from Istanbul. How are you? What's the weather like over there? Do, 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 do. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Long word. Phenomenology. <laughs> I like it, though. Sweet thought. Oh, yeah. Andre says, it's like a spine is a cover. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. I think I'm gonna actually make. It's this cold, Emra. What? How cold is it? <laughs> Sorry, it's like always the question you want to ask. It's cold in Istanbul. Oh. oh. <laughs> How cold is it? Very cold. <laughs> Very cold. <laughs> it's not, I don't know. I it like might not it. Not be too cold. Hi, Emma. Javier. Welcome. Oh, that makes it. That's better. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like it needs the box to contain its madness. For sure. Yeah. Ice cold. Hi, Naga from London. Welcome. Thanks, Shaggy. That's the whole point. 
Oh yeah, this is good. I keep like locking stuff and it's like, why are they not <laughs> You're like, doing where anything? is it? Why is it not cooperating? <laughs> yeah. Still cool though. <laughs> I think this might be my favorite one. Oh yeah? I think I just like the color. It's not the a yellow. typical yellow. It's got some green and a little bit of black in it. So it's more mustardy. It's like a canary mustard. Yeah. Canaries make mustard. I'm just like processing what you're like <laughs> saying right now. I'm, like, I'm waiting for you to process. You're like, canaries make mustard. I'm like, ah, joke's on you, Steven. <laughs> uh, this is when you know you're like super into like the details thing you are really serious. Like Shaggy's saying, I'm like, because you repeated what I said. <laughs> yeah. You're like, canaries make mustard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> I don't know. Completely, man. <laughs> So good. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cardinals make ketchup. That's a good one, Ty. Boom. True. Yes, Anel Honey is asking, do you write your own content? Yes, for yes. this one, yes. Uh, normally though, you have a copywriter for stuff uh, when you're working on print design. But you're your own copywriter. Like, yeah, you can be your That's own copywriter. That's great, totally, yeah. you can be your own yeah. copywriter. I mean, Steven is, he has 100% content here, all about phenomenology oh. that he's done the research for over the past year, right? Has Two months. Two I'm months. not really two like an months. expert on anything. Oh, so, two yeah. months. Okay, yeah. okay. That's still like two months that I didn't do phenomenology research, <laughs> so you've got me beat. <laughs> um, Kevin is asking, would you say that experimenting until you see something that you like is the solution to any design project? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. 100% Kevin. Boom. A hundo. You just gotta play with it and like see mm -hmm. if it works or not. Yeah. Totally. I feel like that's kind of like the fun of it too. It's like, does it work? <laughs> You're like, does it work? <laughs> You're like, maybe it, I like this. Yeah. Like constantly adjusting, going back yeah. and forth. I'm like, uh. I think I just like its simplicity. I, I don't even know if I want to necessarily read it. I want to look at it. <laughs> and that's yeah. going to draw me in. <laughs> How do you find inspiration? I think everyone wants to know this, but especially Anel Henning. Yeah, um, inspiration, I think like, again, it's just, um, you know, looking at uh, what you're interested in, just like gathering as much as you can and then mm -hmm. like, um, yeah. Nice. I don't know, express that. <laughs> Researching yeah. phenomenology. You're yeah. like, that's where my true passion is, phenomenons, <laughs> phenomenines. Nom nom. <laughs> oh, this has just been so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I kind of want to have. Or... Looks like it's like behind. We have about a, like a couple minutes, maybe a minute left. Um, so maybe we could go over what we've done today. Yeah. Pretty quickly run through it mm -hmm. or just show the few pages. I would say yeah. covers. So yeah. basically we kind of established a uh, general like grid layout mm -hmm. in terms of like what uh, we want this to be, uh, the structure that we exist in. Oh yeah. And, uh, and we got a couple covers too, yeah, which are pretty we nice. Did a, couple covers. We've got um, the one that's behind bars. <laughs> yeah. Not sure what Art and Phenomenology. Is, like, we'll go, but. Never again. And then yeah. Art and Phenomenology. Check out the dots. Yeah. I like this. This one's kind of like <laughs> connecting the dots because this is a research, so it's like yeah. kind of learning. I love this. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. It's very beautiful, elegant, straight to the point. Mm -hmm. Phenomenology. Yeah, and then uh, we have this one is sort of like 
This is the masterful art piece, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> this one is sort of uh, the slightly weird. I like it, yeah. Slightly, you know. It's a phenomenon that it's coming together. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. This is awesome. Well, Stephen Zhu, thank you yeah. so much for being here. Oh, something um, just <laughs> disappeared. You're like, something <laughs> happened. Yeah. Uh, stick cool. with us. We have Ozzy up next with Kathleen, cool. and uh, it's going to be a great show. So we will see you back here tomorrow. And thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. All right.